How's it going guys? Mark Burstiner here with Techno Buffalo and we're here at the LETV booth at CES 2016 and what I have here in my hand is the very first device in the world running a Snapdragon 820 processor. It's astoundingly fast as you can probably see right in front of you right now. We ran a quick N22 benchmark. We're really, really lucky to be able to be holding one of these even even more so to be putting it on an Aston Martin for Christ's sakes. But LETV does a lot of really, really cool stuff. They're basically, they started as a content creation platform. And that's their bread and butter. That's exactly what is on here. LETV is focusing a lot on an ecosystem. That's what they're calling this, the very first ecosystem phone for China. Right now, there's no Play Store on it, but we think maybe it might be coming to it. They're not entirely sure. And in terms of coming to the US, we don't know about pricing and availability just yet either. But Man, how cool is it to be holding a phone running in Snapdragon 820? It's a quad-core processor clocked at 2.2 gigahertz, and I'll tell you right now, it screams. Believe it or not, the Ellie Max Pro has more going for it than just the Snapdragon 820. Four gigs of DDR4 RAM. Four gigs of DDR4 RAM. That's the same kind of RAM that you're gonna throw in a high-end gaming or editing rig. That's inside this phone that's inside of my hand. We live in the future. The Ellie Max Pro is also sporting 802.11ad Wi-Fi, which means it's also backwards compatible, but is literally the bleeding edge in terms of wireless connectivity. The Ellie Max Pro is probably somewhere on the spectrum of a concept phone as it sits right now. We're not exactly sure whether or not it's gonna have the Play Store on it if and when it does come to the US, but these models don't, so we haven't been able to test it. To, we haven't been able to testing testing, you guys know what I mean. The screen on this thing is also incredibly high resolution. It's an AMOLED display. It's got raised glass, so it almost feels like you're touching the pixels with your fingers. Feels incredible in the hand. It's got kind of like an HTC-ish build. We've seen a lot of these antenna lines a lot lately, so that's not terribly, terribly surprising. Capacitive buttons down at the bottom and a whole bunch more. So hopefully this is a really good quick look at the very first phone running the Snapdragon 820 in the world for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick look. Stick it here for all of the rest of the videos from CES 2016 right here on Techno Buffalo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be kind to one another and I'll catch you in the next video.